Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. A little bit of a different video today. We're actually sitting in the back seat of the truck um, just for a change of scenery basically. Um, we, I found that the lighting at the front, because when the camera was back here, these windows are tinted so it blocks a lot of the natural light. Um, so I figured I'd try it facing the camera the other way, but if we're sitting in the front seat, the camera's just too close. My face would be like right here. Now Maggie's hiding. Um, I was just going to say, and then you wouldn't be able to see her, but she's still right here. Um, I've been bad for saying um again lately, I've noticed. I've been watching my videos and noticing I've been saying um a lot. So I'm going to try to work on that again. A, t a tip that I heard was to practice keeping your mouth closed in between sentences. So anyways, let's try to get on with this video and say um as little as possible here. Before we get going on the review, I want to wish a very happy birthday to the awesome, loving, and hilarious mother of two very wonderful people in our lives. Jeremy and Leanne's mother, who has also really taken Lady Shorts, Maggie, and myself under her wing, is celebrating her birthday today. So, um, she cares, oh, I said it, she cares so much that she tells me to call her mom. That is such an honor, I can't even explain it, because I, I do have a mother who is very loving, and I love her very much. I've, I've always been kind of a mama's boy, to be honest with you. There I am being honest with you again. But Jeremy and Vanessa's mom, when I, I actually lived with Jeremy, and she came by. She was such a sweet lady. She's so funny. She, Like I said, she cares so much about people ar around her, and people that are close with her family and whatnot so um she's just such a sweet lady she's hilarious an awesome sense of humor very sassy really funny um i love you mom my other mom my second mom happy birthday i hope you have an awesome day today uh that's from all three of us here in the heat my shorts household lady shorts maggie of course and myself of course as well um um, 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 <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to break these habits that we get into. I want to also wish a happy birthday to a buddy from elementary school, actually. Grade seven, we had class together. Just for one year, we were actually in, it was a split class, and we were in the opposite classes, but we we're still in the same grade in the same school, and uh, uh doesn't count. Uh is not um. I should not say that either. We've also hung out a lot. Uh, have I even said who it is? Tyler G? Have I even said that name yet? Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> Seen Tyler at lots of metal shows, mountain biking around town years back, elementary school, and just seeing him around town. He's an awesome guy with great energy. I haven't seen him in years. I think he still lives in Kamloops, but I don't actually even know for sure. But happy birthday to you, Tyler G. And happy birthday to my second mom. Uh, Lillian. I guess we can call her by her first name. That's, that is your first name. So <laughs> happy birthday to the both of you. Now, uh, let's get to, <laughs> let's get to our review. We have a hot sauce review today. You probably saw it in the title of the video. It is the final sauce in our Maestro's gift from Scott Michael. Very generous gift. He just wanted to share a company sauces. And I'm so glad that he did because all of their sauces so far are really good. We're getting a little bit of glare from the natural light of the front windshield, but what can you do about that, right? Uh, it's a really nice yellow colored sauce. I'm actually going to take these pineapple shades off. No, not yet. I haven't gotten to the reason that I'm wearing them, right? <laughs> First, I'm going to read you the ingredients on this sauce, which Scott... Maybe it was Scott or maybe even Justin at the capsaicin clinic. I think it was Scott that pointed out the ingredients are actually listed right here. Come on, focus. There you go. It's just below the nutritional information. It's small writing, but it is there. So as what I've done is I've taken a picture of it, zoomed in, and I have it on my phone here. So it's easier for my tired eyes to read. The ingredients are pineapple. Hey, that's why I'm wearing the shades. If there's pineapple in the product, I, I like to wear my pineapple shades. Even if it's in a dark, dimly lit truck or indoors. <laughs> so now I'm going to take them off because I've discussed the pineapple part. It's hard to read in here. My, <laughs> I, uh, I don't have old eyes that need reading glasses, but 
I'm definitely seeing the signs of age with my vision. So let's get back to it here. Also the signs of age with my memory and my uh, attention span. Ingredients are pineapple, apple cider vinegar, mangoes, white wine vinegar, onions, canola oil, devil's tongue chili pepper, fresh habanero peppers, lemon juice, sugar, garlic, Trinidad scorpion pepper, raw sea salt, paprika, ginger, allspice, cilantro, nutmeg, black pepper, and cinnamon. Now, Devil's Tongue Chili Pepper is one that I was not familiar with, so I wanted to look it up before I started the review here. Google tells me, actually, chilipeppermadness.com on Google tells me, tells us, um, the Devil's Tongue Pepper Scoville units range from 125,000 to 325,000 Scoville heat units. So, compared to, comparable to a habanero pepper, um, jalapenos are 5,000 Scoville heat units average, so 65 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. And that's all I could really... I didn't dive too much into... I didn't even click on the link, to be honest. I just screenshotted the Google answer there, and that's good enough. This was a 2013 article, I just noticed. Anyways, um, saying um again. This sauce is called the Maruga Triangle. Did I tell you that? Did I tell you that it was called the Maruga Triangle? I'm a little bit out of sorts today. I'm very tired today. Here I, here I go. I'm going to be honest with you again. Uh, not fully honest. I'm not going to tell you every detail of my life. But I had a bad afternoon yesterday. I got really grumpy. Um, yeah, I got really upset. I was angry about my situation in life. My financial situation, my physical situation, my emotional situation. There's so much about, about my life that has fallen out of place and it's really been bothering me for years. And it builds and it builds and it builds. And once in a while I just reach a breaking point where, yeah, I, I break down and I cry. I'm not... I'm not really ashamed of that. I used to be ashamed of my tears, but, but I've I've cried in front of shops full of men. Um, I've cried in front of my family, my partner, my neighbors. It's just the way it goes. I am an emotional human being. I got a lot of love to give. I got a lot of frustration and anger inside of me. Uh, I have a lot of compassion. I just have strong emotions. Um, Wow, that really got off topic. <laughs> Just telling you why I'm fumbling with my things today. And that, yeah, and, and actually I need to give a shout out to Ann Crooker, who sent me a Facebook message, because I left a comment on the Capsaicin Clinic apologizing for not answering a message yesterday. And Ann read it and sent me a personal message just saying, I hope you have a nice day today. And I hope today is better. So thank you so much, Anne. That was such a nice message to wake up to. And I, I, I treasure you as a friend so much. That, that positive energy that you bring everywhere you go, that I've seen, that, that speaks volumes for what a wonderful person you are. So thank you so much, Anne. Thank you, Justin, at the Capsaicin Clinic for chatting with me about Star Wars and being patient with me for... I sent him a message and then he messaged me back and I didn't answer. He sent me a few messages and I just didn't answer because I put my phone on silent and laid on the floor. I had a nap in this truck. I, I laid on the floor in the shop for some reason and slept there for a while. I don't know. I really don't know, but... Maggie's favorite neighbor is shoveling his driveway right now. This could get silly. She's She might even bark at him. Um, we've gotten so far away from this review now. We need to get back to this review. My apology for that. Um, that's something you've probably re realized about this channel by now. That we are not strictly a product review channel. We are also an emotional outlet channel. Like, I... Um, it's a diary, a daily journal. I tell you what's going on in our lives. Sometimes we have jokes. Sometimes we have, you know, tell you that I'm not doing so well. Whatever's going on, I try to be as transparent and honest with you as I can. Because the more people that do that, the more people that are honest with our, ourselves and each other, 
I think that we'll, we're, we're so much better off than keeping secrets and taking sides and, you know, trying to portray the image that we are indestructible and that we can eat the spiciest things and that doesn't even bother us. Some people that is the case, absolutely, but not me, not most people. Um, yeah, be yourselves. Show your emotions. Yeah, be real, I think. Anyways, my apology for that. I'm going to get back to this review now. The Maruga Triangle, I'm actually really stoked to try this because all of the sauces is from... There's been three other ones from Maestro's Sauce Company that Scott Michael had sent up from McMurray, Pennsylvania... Sorry. <clears throat> McMurray, Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's written right there. Um, a tropical-inspired pineapple and mango sauce with a blend of habanero, devil's tongue, and maruga scorpion peppers. With its blend of spiced rum, ginger, and other spices, the maruga triangle is the definition of sweet heat with a burn. This is an ideal sauce for chicken, beef, and fish. Shake well before use. Separation is normal. Refrigerate after opening. Luckily, well, it's like minus 15 out here. It's still chilly out here. We're past the worst of our cold snap, but it is still chilly. I ran in the truck for a little bit just to get the heat up in, a li in here a little bit, get the ice melted off of the windshields. Scraped most of it, but, you know. Now, let's open this up. I will, of course, leave a link in the description box down below for maestrossauceco.com. That's where you can get a hold of their product lineup and place an order. We will definitely be placing an order through Maestro Sauce Company in the future. This one was a gift parcel, and I feel like we definitely need to explore the rest of their product line lineup and support the company a little bit. Other than just the reviews, because these reviews do support the company as well. It gets their name out there, but I would like to support them with a purchase as well. So, give this a shaky shake for Joe and Silas and Joy at heating up. I hear that Joe's coming back. I hear that Joe's going to be making videos again one of these days. I'm so stoked for that. That guy is a beast. He is an, a sweetheart of a man and a spice. I don't know how to how to put it. He he can put the spice away. He did seven days in a row, row of Death Nut 3.0 challenge. That's the hardest challenge I've done yet. So, let's look at the color of this sauce. It's a beautiful kind of pasty yellow um not a see-through yellow it's um almost chalky has a lot of pieces of ingredients floating around in there it's a very interesting looking sauce so let's open it up and give it a little sniffy Ooh, i like that i like that pop when you open it up oh that smells really good Definitely getting the pineapple and mango. And that must be, well, all of the other stuff. There's a lot of delicious sounding ingredients in there. I want to say the nutmeg and the allspice and the cinnamon are coming through very nicely as well. Wow, it's very unique smelling. I need to get the, get the spoon out, get a spoonful of this stuff. This smells really good. Thanks again for sending these up to us, Scott. That is such a cool gesture. Let's give this a pour. Really nice color. Maggie's licking her lips. Show you what it looks like on the spoon there. Sort of. I can't really see the spoon when I do that. Yeah, it's kind of dark in here. It's hard to see. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. If I get it to focus and then move my hand. No, not really. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is. It's that color. So from Maestro Sauce Company. Oh, my mouth is watering. This is the Maruga Triangle. Keep my shorts. That's got a good kick to it. And a very nice flavor. I'm trying to put my finger on what that... It almost reminds me of gingerbread. It has that sort of a... Well, 
super spicy gingerbread. And something else too, I'm not sure what. Well, mango and pineapple, of course. Mmm, nice tropical and festive. I don't even know how else to put that. It sounds, not sounds, it tastes. It tastes like the holidays. I'm not even sure. This is a very unique sauce. It's got a good kick to it. Nice, smooth, silky consistency. Some good chunks going on in there, little chunks. Little pulpy chunks. Fairly thin consistency, I didn't mention that. Medium thin, but fairly thin on the thin side. Hmm. Yeah, something about it does remind me of gingerbread or ginger snaps. I like that. That is a really good sauce. Very unique. Hmm. Now let's talk about the heat on this. It's spicy. It's got some heat to it and some some flavor spice as well. On my heat scale, not right now. I'd say that's a that's a four out of ten on my heat scale. Really good tongue sting. Um, all over the mouth sting actually. A little bit of a sting back of the throat, gums, it's kind of got an all over the place burn, and I'm sure that's because of the variety of peppers going on in it, habanero, devil's tongue, and maruga scorpion peppers, that's a good variety of sub, like, no, super hot, and I don't know what you call under super hot, sub hot, sub super hot, I don't know, hot, I guess hot peppers, hot peppers and super hot. So, oh, it's this. My fingers, my fingers tickle in the wrapper. I thought there was a mouse in here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd say this is a four out of ten on my heat scale. My tolerance is. Well, I'm salivating. I think I spat a little bit, bit when I talked there. My tolerance is down a little bit for sure. I haven't been doing it as much ch challenges as I had been. I'm stuttering there. Wow. Let's try that again. I haven't been doing as much challenges as I had been. I plan planned on doing some other ones, but I just haven't got it around to it. I'm not really feeling it. Um, if you're a chili head, yeah, this is going to be anywhere from, let's say, a 2 out of 10 to up to a 6 or 7 out of 10. If you are new to spicy foods, you'd find this to be a... 9 or a 10 out of 10, I'm sure of it. It's got a very good kick to it. As far as what to pair it with, can't see the label. Am I showing the label? No. As far as what to pair it with, tropical things, tropical parrot. <laughs> um, use it for a marinade for sure. Use it on chicken. They mentioned, mentioned chicken, beef, and fish. Yeah, I agree with all three of those. Uh, Thai food. I feel like it would be good on Thai food. Curried food. Actually, Justin at Capsaicin Clinic mentioned that he would put it on curry. And I agree with that. That totally sounds like a great idea for this sauce. As far as other things, I wouldn't... I don't think I would put this on ice cream. Well, maybe actually, because it's got that gingerbread flavor to it almost. You know what? Yeah. Ice cream. Maybe chocolate ice cream or vanilla. Either one, I think. Because the chocolate would kind of make it feel more like a, a gingerbread, you know, chocolatey gingerbread sort of a thing with, with some um, tropical fruit flavors in it as well. Whereas if you used a vanilla ice cream, I think that the tropical fruit flavors would, would shine through more. And maybe even the gingerbread flavor. Yeah, it's a good sauce. Anyways, 
I don't think there's much else to talk about on this. It's a really good sauce. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. But only if you're into super hot sauces. Would I restock this one? Yeah, totally. I love these curry vibe sort of sauces. And I love tropical sauces. I love fruit based so fruit based sauces. I love mellow sauces and I love super hot sauces as well. So it definitely hits that super hot check box as well. I love a lot about this sauce. I recommend this sauce for sure. Like I said, if you like spicy foods. I wish it would focus on it right now because this would make an awesome thumbnail. Me and Mags. Hey Mags. Yeah, unfortunately it's just not focusing though. We'll find a thumbnail in there somewhere. Hey, Maggie. Um, so I think that's about it for this video. I'm honestly trying to stall a little bit because our neighbor out front is shoveling his driveway right now and it's going to get silly if we get out of the truck right now because she absolutely loves him. But I am in my shorts and I'm not dressed warmly because I planned on doing this video and then going back inside but he likes to chat he's a retired fella he's an awesome guy actually and uh and he likes to chat so anyways we'll figure it out hope you all have an awesome day hope you're having an awesome morning or afternoon whatever time of day it is oh we want to point out too we got our mando figure up in the window there from funky food with dave make sure you check out funky food with dave if you haven't and paula van gilder on YouTube. Uh, she runs a mental health and addictions channel and well actually they both kind of run them both to help each other out with both of them but she runs the mental health and addictions channel and he runs the f funky food spicy foods reviews channel so you should check them out if you haven't to they're great people. Other than that have a great day I love you all it is almost New Year's I think tomorrow is New Year's isn't it we'll have to figure out what we're doing probably staying home. Um, once again Happy birthday to my second mom, and happy birthday to Tyler G. I love you all. Hope you all have a great day. This has been Heat My Shorts with Steve and Maggie. Um, how are we going to do this now? <laughs> She's right here. I guess down here we will have our Heat My Shorts logo. Up here we will have a relevant playlist, and here we'll have a relevant playlist. Because I don't want to block her face out. She's too cute. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Love you all. Bye-bye.